Welcome to my channel, I am Vest3D and today we're taking a look at the VZ Printhead Printed Edition. So yeah, this is just released and it's in a beta version because it's untested, I didn't have time yet to install it and play with it, but I have assembled it, I've made sure that everything fits properly and gosh, it, I, I love it, it's really amazing. It is completely based on the aluminum version that we have, the CNC version, except this is printed and it's very light, very stiff, very strong, so I can't wait to give it a shot or at least hear back from the community about it because I hope you guys will, will be able to test it and report back to us so we can improve it if there's um, something to improve. So I'm really happy to provide this to all people that uh, don't necessarily have the money to invest in the aluminum print head. So this, was be, this will be sorry, a very good uh, alternative to that print head. Except of course the aluminum print head edition offer uh, more cooling, more stiffness, it's lighter, it's overall better but I think this will not be far behind. The only downside is it's not going to be compatible with what is coming next with the VZ extruder and the Goliath. We're going to get rid of that heatsink, make it shorter, use that whole print head aluminum to act as a heatsink as well as the VZ extruder. So that is going to be good. Unfortunately, not possible with this print head, but still very good option. So um, we're going to print it in this video. We're going to assemble it. We're going to take some pictures, videos, because I like doing that. And I'm going to show that to you. And again, um, I, la I asked the, uh, the help of the community this time to, uh, to work with me on, on improvement of this guy. So for now, just like the VZ uh, print head aluminum, it will support many extruders out there, all the more popular one, uh, Orbiter, VZ Extruder, uh, Sherpa Mini, Sherpa Micro, um, what else, uh, LGX Lite obviously, and it will also support many, 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 many hot ends out there, including the Goliath, of course, so um, Groove Mount and whatnot, probing, um, we're gonna have a quick draw probe uh, from Annex Engineering, we're gonna have the Beacon uh, from Annex Engineering, which is Totally mind-blowing, good job guys on that one. I can't wait to uh, to try that as well. So without any further ado, let's just uh, print it, assemble it, and see what it does.
<laughs> All right, so that was it for the new uh, VZ print head printed edition. And, and in this one, I've realized I'm really bad at doing heat insert. Well, in fact, I need the proper tool. I'm just using a the bad tool, and that's why I'm having hard time. But it, it did work, so it doesn't look best, but it did work. So um, I'm very happy with um, the strength, the weight, how it looks. I'm very happy with everything. It's obviously not tested yet, so I've not installed it on the printer, so I don't know yet how it's going to perform, but everything is super rigid and it looks like that's gonna be a very good performer at least i hope i want to hear feedback from the community because this is something uh i don't know if i'm gonna have time to test it and to play with that uh, i'll try but i don't I can't promise it. I have just so many things to do. So I hope the community will be able to test it, play with it, share their result. If it, the cat is open source, so go ahead and 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 modify it, add stuff, do the way uh, you like, because uh, mine is not always the best way. But I think it's a good start. It's it's gonna be a good print head. Um, obviously, it's gonna be uh, also compatible with with many other things out there. We have probes uh, coming. The beacon from Annex Engineering is something compatible, um, as well as the quick draw from uh, Annex Engineering as well. So a couple of good options. It's multi extruders capable, uh, LGX Lite, Orbiter, VZ extruder, and whatnot. Sherpa Mini, Sherpa Micro many hot ends with the the universal adapter plate here um it's groove mount compatible so it, it has a lot of cool features and it's cpap and and uh other mod oh come on focus other mods will come um also probably from the community and i will myself keep developing around it but it is very awesome and, and I'm just a bit sad because I think it looks even better than the aluminum one. Uh, aluminum one is, I think is just a, a bit um, lighter um, and, and it's also stiffer. I guess this was printed in ABS carbon fiber. It is very stiff and very strong, but yeah, aluminum has advantages, but this is a design I've made based on the aluminum version, based on the uh, CNC version, that will be there for all the people that, um, well, don't have money to buy the CNC parts or just prefer to make it themselves. And I think it's gonna be a great um, option uh, compared to the VZ Printhead aluminum edition. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, I hope people gonna enjoy that i hope people will will be happy uh i've spent uh, a lot of time on this <laughs> so um if you if you uh want to uh encourage me there is a a coffee or ko-fi link in the, the video description that um encourages me to keep going and keep developing so that that is always welcome and i appreciate every every coffee or i put a bit of rum in my coffees so um yeah so anyway thank you very much for watching i appreciate it if you liked it please drop a like subscribe and uh we're gonna keep pushing pushing boundaries that's that's what we do on this channel so um I hope I'll be able to install it and make another video on how it performs. Other than that, let's wait on the community and see um, how that baby performs. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a great night. Goodbye.